everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. In this video, I'm going to show you the most effective way to build one of the coolest weapons in Elden Ring's DLC. The Dead Knight's Long Half Axe is a unique raid axe that features a swift combat style and a great design. It deals physical and aligning damage, scales B with strength, D with faith, and has a minimal dexterity scaling. Sadly, this fantastic looking weapon has an underwhelming damage output across its entire moveset, even with its unique skill, Blink Bolt. Unfortunately, it is not as effective as the Twin Axe version, as it cannot be significantly boosted by multiple means. Nonetheless, under the right setup, it is possible to achieve a solid performance with this great axe and make it completely enjoyable. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we will be the re major boss of the game and the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. We are going to be using the Dead Knight's Long Haft Axe on plus 10. As you can see, this weapon deals lightning damage, but this lightning damage is going to scale with dexterity and faith. All basic attacks lightning damage will scale with faith, but the lightning damage of Blink Ball Long Hafted Axe will scale directly with dexterity. I really don't know why the skills that are related with projectiles or with lightning scales with dexterity. This is something very strange and I really prefer when the skills scale with the AR of the weapon. Anyways, if we ignore the fact that this is a unique weapon with a unique skill and we try to use it just as a normal axe, it is not going to perform great. So that's the main reason why this weapon doesn't get the spotlight in PvE scenarios. But that doesn't mean it's not going to be great. With the build I'm going to show you, it is more than decent. You can use any seal you have available, but we are going to be able to use a spell which is Knight's Lightning Spear, so the Gravel Stone Seal on plus 25 will be very good, and you can use any weapon with the Raptor of the Mist Ash of War to be able to dodge the Mikela's AoE attack. I'm going to be using the Death Knight Armor Set because it will increase the damage of the unique skill of this weapon, but if you want to increase the general damage of the weapon and the damage of the skill as well, you can use the Rakshasa's Armor Set. Anyways, feel free to use your favorite Armor Set. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander to increase the potential of the skill by 15%, the Lightning Scorpion Shard that will be boost our lightning damage by 12%, the Blade of Mercy that will increase our damage every time we deal a critical hit, and the Old Lord's Talisman. This one is very underrated because this one increases the duration of your buffs, and in fights that are extremely long such as the DLC fights, you are going to be highly benefited by this talisman. If you are missing one of these talismans, the Two-Handed Sword Talisman and the Axe Talismans will give you a great performance as well with this build. In our Flask of Wonders Physic, we are going to be using the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Lightning Shrouding Crack Tear. Do not be afraid of using the Blood Sucking Crack Tear. Even though it drains your HP, it does it very slowly, so it's not going to be a problem. You can be healing constantly and you will be fine. If you really, really don't want to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear, a great alternative is the Stone Barb Crack Tear to break the stance of your targets easier, or the Spike Crack Tear to deal a lot of more damage when using charge attacks. And this one will stack perfectly fine with the Axe Talisman and the Two Handed Sword Talisman if you are two handing the axe, of course. This weapon consumes a huge amount of stamina, so be sure to craft some Pickle Torten Legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 26 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, 60 on Strength, 50 on Dexterity, and 36 on Faith. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs, and we can use Royal Knight's Lightning Spear to deal some damage on enemies when they are at a further distance. And as you can see, I have my Scattership Blessing on the level 20, and if you want to deal a decent amount of damage with this weapon that is not that great, I strongly recommend you to have it on the level 20 as well. Now that we have completed and optimized or build, what do you say if we get a little bit electric? Okay guys, to buff our character with this weapon, we are going to use our Flask of Wonders Physic first, then we are going to use Golden Vow, and we are going to use our Pickle Turtle Neck to boost our stamina regeneration speed, but it is completely optional, so you don't have to use it if you don't have it or if you don't want to. Then we are going to use Howl of Shabrini, which is the best body buff for this build, because it will increase lining damage and physical damage as well. Refill your FP, your HP to hand your weapon if you want, and you are ready to go. Let's do this. Let's go, baby! 
Come on! Let's destroy it, guys. Oh my god, that was close. Amazing, baby. Come on. Come on. Any last words? Nice. <laughs> Amazing. This thing has to work normally. Man. Let's go, baby. It took me so many tries, guys. So many tries. Be a good boy, homie! They're being so annoying. Wow, this is not good. Okay, let's take this. Wow. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, beautiful baby. <laughs> nice. I'm still alive. 
Let's go. It was a no hit, right? And yeah, most of the time, my builds are designed to that. To deal a lot of damage and not struggle a lot with the bosses, but... I am a no-hitter guy. I like to no-hit the bosses. Like dodging his, their attacks and stuff, you know? So sometimes I feel like with this boss I wasn't able to actually not hit him. But this time I will. We got this, guys. Let's do this. Amazing. Let's make this happen, baby. At least I dealt a little bit of damage, dude. I wasn't confident that he was going to do that. Let's do this. Come on, baby. Come on! <laughs> Let's go, guys! A no hit! <laughs> hey there, bad boy. Take this one. That should be enough, of course. Let's go. Oh, that is amazing. Let's go, baby. Nice. <laughs> Just the right amount of damage. Let's do this for me. Nice. Dang it, I ran out of stamina. Amazing, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, homie, I'm more than ready. That's nice. I love this attack, guys. Nobody, nobody. Not today. Not today! Wow, bro! I can't believe it! <laughs> I didn't even use the skill! <laughs> wow, this is just... Me being extremely smart, guys. You have no idea of this strategy. <laughs> nah, I was trying to use the lightning spear, bro. I'm just very stupid. Let's go, it worked! <laughs> nice. Okay. That is very interesting. Okay, that works. No way it worked. Amazing. Oh no way! This is crazy guys. This is actually crazy. No! Oh! <laughs> Amazing bro! <laughs> okay, homie. He was backing up. The guy was backing up, he's scared. Amazing, bro. Take this, homie. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> Let's go. Nice. 
ici. Holy, that is a lot of damage, bro. What? Amazing. Come on. Come on. Oh, first try. Come on, homie. Amazing. Give it to me, baby. Ah, oh, nice try, homie. Nice try. <laughs> Sadly. It's not going to be enough. Oh, it was enough! Wow! That is the problem, bro. I am too slow. Okay, okay. He's still fighting. Come on. Amazing. Let's go. Get him. Okay, okay. That's one. Come on. Amazing, bro. Wow, man. <laughs>